Greetings, Salutations YouTube. It's Hayden here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today, I'm really excited because this is going to be probably one of my best um, handbag thrift hauls. Um, I'm really excited to share with you guys uh, what I got. So, uh, if you guys want to see the thrifting video for this particular haul, hit the little eye right there. That window will pop out. And you can select that video there along with playlists for my other thrifting videos, haul videos, handbag rehabs, and vlogs. And if you love that kind of content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, and don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com where, where I'm going to have like pretty much most of these items up for sale. So if anyone's interested in anything, check it out there. Send me a message as well. Well, <coughs> excuse me, um, or um, send me a DM, email, um, whatever is easiest, but definitely a DM, I think, on Instagram or Depop, I think, would be the best way to contact me. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this haul. I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got. Um, the first item I have here is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Michael Kors um, shoulder bag slash, like, if you wanted to wear a crossbody, you might be able to get away with it, especially if you're like more petite. But definitely just um, shoulder and the crook of your arm. Um, it has beautiful quilting, silver hardware, and the interior is in really great shape. It still has the original dust bag as well, and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's perfect for every day, it's perfect for evening. Dress it up, dress it down. This is like the best bag ever. Um, it also has a back pocket, which is really nice. Throw in your cell phone or whatnot. And yeah, silver hardware too makes it a little bit, I think, um, more like modern, I think. Uh, like silver and black, I think, is always a little bit more, um, maybe a little bit more modern, maybe a little bit more laid back as well. Um, less formal, but um, really, really beautiful handbag. I'm really excited about this one. So there's that. <clears throat> Then, up next, I was so excited to find this Tory Burch, um, like, shoulder bag. So, this bag is so versatile. Not only can you use it kind of, like, as a shoulder bag, you can actually remove the chains, and then you can use it as a clutch. Um, it has a pocket right up here, so you can put stuff inside of here. And then, you also have a zipper compartment right here. This also does have the original dust bag that comes with it right there. So this bag definitely does pack a punch, and then it just flaps down like that, and it's a great purple color. And you guys know that the color of the year is ultraviolet, so this pop of purple is stunning. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful leather. Like, it's so gorgeous. I love, like, the pebbling on it, and, like, it looks so stunning, and I love the color. Gold hardware complements it perfectly, and this is just, like, a really, really, really great handbag I think so there's that Tory Burch purple <clears throat> oh let me show you guys this too so um this one is a Mark Jacobs backpack check that out it has the stars on it um and each of these items, I believe, were forty or fifty-five dollars each too. The ones that I've shown you so far, they're all fifty-five. Um, I think fifty-five. Yeah. And then um, this backpack is just so cute. It has, um, I think it's velvet. It has like a velvet trim, and then it has um, the gold or the gold. It has like the green and white stars. The background is. I believe it's navy, and then the trim is black velvet, and the stars, um, some of them actually have like a green flocking, so it's really, really cool and interesting. Um, there's also the velvet on the interior of the straps as well, so like the details on this backpack are intense, they're like really, really nice. Um, it has two zipper pockets in the front, and then the interior just opens nicely like that, and it does come also with its original dust bag, which is very, very nice. I love it when bags come with dust bags. Uh, so you can store them nicely and they're not going to get dirty in your closet. It's just going to stay nice and clean and don't get all dusty. So there's that. I think it's so, like, it's such a fun backpack, right? I love stars and I love this color combination as well. I think it's really, really nice. Oh, I have to show this to you guys too because for some reason I didn't show it in my other video. 
And a lot of you guys have messaged me about it, and I was like, wait a minute, why didn't it make it into the video? Like, I think I, I was cleaning it, and then uh, had it off to the side, I just totally, like, spaced out on it. But, um, I did get this Rebecca Minkoff, um, crossbody bag. This one is so gorgeous. The details on this are amazing. The studs are, like, out of this world. Um, there's the interior. Interior is just, like, all black, and it has two pockets. And I love the way that the sides, like, they can open up like that, or you can actually zip it up, um, kind of closed. But I kind of like the way it looks with, like, the wings popped out. There is also a zipper pocket on the back, and this is just a stunning, stunning handbag. It's gorgeous. It just takes my breath away every time I see it. Um, and this will be up for sale, and a lot of you guys have been asking about it. And I think I messaged you all back, but, like... If, if I didn't, please message me again. I'm so sorry. Sometimes, like, the messages kind of, like, stack on each other. And then they kind of, yeah. It's just a hot mess sometimes. Um, but, um, such a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And I believe this one was around, I think I lost the tag. It was, like, 55 something dollars as well. But so gorgeous. Okay, up next... Now this one I was very excited about because this is a new with tags bag and I think, does it have a dust bag? No, this one does not have the dust bag though, unfortunately. But it is a stunner and it is this Rebecca Minkoff. This one was $47.50. The tags are right here um, and it still has like the plastic and the paper on all the hardware and everything. And this bag retailed for $100 and 95 cents brand new and such a cute bag I love like the baby pink color and I love like look at that you open up these little wings and then BAM the bag suddenly has a whole new shape and I love the baby pink I feel like that is like such a fun color um, it does have like this mark on the back I don't know what it is but um, I'm trying to get it out, hopefully I can. But other than that, the bag is in like new condition and the color is just stunning. It's like a baby pink. Perfect for spring, perfect for Easter. So, so, so gorgeous. I love this bag so much. Now up next, oh, this one is another stunning bag. Um, I love Miu Miu so much. I feel like their designs are so like cool and modern and fresh and so different from what um, other um, fashion houses are doing so this one is a beautiful like satchel bag it has a crossbody strap has a top handle and the leather on this is so soft and supple the color is almost it's kind of like a periwinkle kind of color and this is a Marnie did I say that already um, it does also come with the original dust bag which is nice and like it has like this string on it and I think you can use this like to tie up the in like the inside of the bag so that it doesn't like fly open but literally the inside is just the underside of the leather so it's all suede and this bag is just stunning I literally I really like this bag I'm gonna show it to mom she might um like I don't know if she'll decide that she wants it but it's really really cute and then the crossbody strap is also very nice as well you can carry it two different ways so always having like that uh crossbody shoulder option is always nice um for handbags so yeah there's that beautiful beautiful marnie i'm so excited to find marnie bags i don't usually find a lot of those i think that's probably maybe the third marnie bag that i've seen and purchased at the thrift store i usually always try to get them if i see them so um <clears throat> excited about that and then up next i have this i think this is a gorgeous 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 michael kors bag um it's uh what is this called it's an embossed croc print with brown and then gold hardware there is a little bit of wear on the hardware but i feel like it's still beautiful it sits gorgeously on your shoulder the inside has so much space and it has like so much space for like everything like all your necessities fit inside here perfectly and it's just a easy bag to carry with tons of compartments and I just think like this is a really cool bag I like it a lot I love an embossed crock print too I think it's a really classy and I love this color brown as well 
Okay, so I have two bags to show you that I have left and they are probably my most two, like the two bags I'm most excited for. Now one of them is um, kind of like a birthday present that I got myself and I have been staring at this bag for so, 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 so long and I was there the day that they got the bag into the store and I've been waiting for the day that it went 50% off and I told myself that I was like if if I was there when it went 50% off I had to get it and it was just my birthday a few days ago and I was at the store yesterday and it was like serendipitous I was like oh my gosh my bag is still there and then I was like did it go 50% off they said yes sold like that was the end of the story I had to get it so here it is. I've actually started using it already and I think this bag is just so cool. Now this is a Proenza. This is uh, the PS1 in the medium and <clears throat> this is supposed to be like um, kind of like a wood print like the grains of on like on wood and it is like in a red and then it has black and then it has like also black um, kind of like flocking on it which I think is really, really cool. Um, it has the long strap, it has the little top handle, and this bag is in like new condition, you guys. Like, it's seriously amazing. That was one of the reasons why I had to get it. Um, I did end up getting this bag, I believe, for like 450 something like that. Um, I don't have the tag because they, it was, oh, actually, it has the, I have the wrist. Receipt. This is the wrong receipt. Where's the other receipt? This was the receipt from a different store that I went to. <laughs> is that in the back? No, that's a Goodwill receipt. Um, okay, well, I cannot currently find or locate the receipt, but I believe the bag was, <coughs> excuse me, around four fifty to four eighty. Um, one once it was half off. So I was super excited, and I had to jump on that chance. So, beautiful. And it still has the original tags. Um, it still has the original Barney's New York tag attached to it. And it also still has all of the original um, paperwork. The only thing it didn't come with was the dust bag. But um, this bag originally retailed for 2000 six hundred and fifty dollars which is crazy but I got it for like a fraction of the price for I, I would just say under 500 definitely uh, I just don't remember the exact number right now and I cannot find the receipt for the life of me probably in another bag but um can you guys believe this bag I think it's so cool um I feel like it looks like the um the flaming hot Cheetos, not like even like the regular hot Cheetos, it's like the super spicy one in the black and red bag. I feel like that's what this kind of looks like and they kind of look like hot Cheetos, which I love. I love hot Cheetos so much and I feel like this bag just makes me so happy when I see it. And it's definitely a statement piece. Like when you see this bag, it's like, BAM! I love it so much. So I've just been really into vibrant colors recently and like, um, been into like more unique looking handbags and this is definitely one of them so i am super excited to add this into the collection and i'm just like looking at this hardware on here um but yeah so 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 gorgeous i'm so excited to have this bag in the collection so there this is um that piece i got for myself so there's that and then this one i don't know if i'm gonna be selling it or i don't know if i'm gonna be keeping it um this one is a Fendi, uh, I believe it's called the Cellier um, style with like the stitching like that. And this bag is so gorgeous. Um, this was from a store that I don't normally frequent. I've only been there at one other time. And um, I decided to go back and give it a chance. And I found this and it is in a metallic like rose gold color. I think it's coming off like pretty much the right color on screen. Um, but it does, like, depending on what, like, you're wearing or what color it's up against, the color kind of changes, but the leather on this bag is a dream. Um, this bag is actually from 2007, and I know this because it still has the original tags inside, um, and even though it's so old, it still 
has retained its color. Um, usually for like metallic kind of bags like this, the color just like kind of starts fading. This one, I don't see any fading anywhere. So the person who had this either didn't really use it that much or I don't know, but I really, really like this bag. I love like the little pouch that it comes with. Like it's so fun. Um, let me show you guys the tags are still inside of here. So the, I, I got this one. I believe this is the receipt for this one. Um, for $225, which is like, first of all, that's amazing. Um, secondly, it still has all the original tags and receipts right here. Um, this is called the Borsa du Manici Cuyo Romano Bois de Rose. I think that's the name of the color. Um, so there's like the little authenticity card thing. And then here is the original tag from Bloomingdale's. Um, it was $1,950 back in 2000. Yeah, fall is from fall winter quarter 2007 is where um, when this bag was from and it is like honestly in such fantastic condition still. I can't believe it still has all the tags and all of that. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to be selling this or I'm just going to be keeping it in the collection at least for the time. Being even the bottom and the corners are like in really good shape. It just has a little bit of wear. It's like amazing. I'm going to see if I can attach a crossbody strap to this because I wouldn't mind actually wearing this. So I don't exactly know when the camera cut me off <laughs> because I was just so excited. I was just like all in my own little world and the camera already stopped filming. Um, but yeah, this bag is just so stunning. Um, I'm going to see if I can attach like a crossbody strap to it, like on the rings, like one here and then one on the back other side um, and see if I can wear it like a crossbody because I think... I would totally rock this bag, um, even if like the, even if it's kind of like a rose gold, because I feel like it comes off kind of coppery too. It's really cool. I don't know. I like this style a lot. Um, if anything, if I really wanted to keep the bag, I can always re-dye it. But there's something about um, the original color of this bag that is just so gorgeous. It has just aged so beautifully. It would just be a travesty to actually re-dye it, especially since it doesn't need um, to be re-dyed because it is so beautifully made. Um, 2007, they made some really good bags, so this one is a stunner. So, that rounds out today's haul video. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out, um, all these really cool handbags that I found. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite items were that I found. I feel like my favorites are, of course, the Proenza and then the Fendi. They're just, like, stunning to die for. I love them so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. It always helps immensely. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow, bright and early, at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, for a new video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys then. Bye! Okay, I'm still looking through the bags. There's so many to look at. They're just like all kind of like packed in here. Stop. Is this really Dooney? <gasps> I think this is like when, um, yes. $20 though. This is when um, Lindsay Lohan was like the face of Dooney and Burke. What's this?